Hey Potters, Miss G here. I just wanted to go over with you how to um, put some underglaze into some images that we've created. Um, I created these in canva.com and then I printed them on a laser jet printer. Um, and now I'm gonna use some of the velvet underglazes that I have in the classroom. I've chosen black today, but you could use any color that you wanted. And then I'm gonna show you how to get it into here and what it looks like when it's wet and what it looks like when it's dry um, and when it will be ready to transfer. So I chose my jet black. I'm gonna shake it and I'm gonna hold the lid as I shake it. Open it off to the side because sometimes there's crusties that fall out. Um, and kind of the lid probably has enough to kind of go by for now. So the Laser print ink um, acts as a resist to this glaze. So you'll notice as I lay this down, it kind of just pops to the edge and doesn't really go over. If you're super messy, um, it will go over, but you can kind of get into these corners pretty nicely. Okay, and we're just trying to lay down some glaze. We don't want to paint it on and make it nice and thin, like, like we're not painting a wall. Okay. Um, we want to kind of lay down a nice thick bit of underglaze. I'm just going right up to the edges. So when you choose your designs for this process, I would say don't choose things that are like really intricate. Um, they should be simple, black and white designs that you can easily paint your underglaze into. So if you notice, it's kind of going right to the edges. And I'm also flipping my paper around so I can get a good angle based on what I'm trying to paint or fill in. And this does take some time, but it'll be worth it. So I've got one filled in pretty nicely. So that's what it looks like when it's wet. Okay, so it's really shiny. Um, and then as it dries, it'll get to this matte finish. So these were all painted a few days ago. But one thing I wanted to show you is, if you notice, you can kind of see through to the paper. So that image is gonna be kind of thin. Um, now when we transfer these, they do look a little rustic, so they will kind of not be solid, um, but that's kind of the appeal. So these will definitely not be solid. So if you want a more solid, um, transfer, you want to really make sure that you fill in um, with a nice thick layer of underglaze. Uh, so this one will be not as solid and this one would be more solid. Okay. Um, so we, we do this, you know, we paint it in and then we have to allow it to dry and then this will be ready for transfer. Okay. So I'm just going to do a few more so you can get the idea.
Okay, so this row is all set, ready to dry. Um, most likely you guys will have to um, paint in the underglaze in one class period and then let it dry until the next class period and then you'll be able to transfer this onto your pot. Thanks for watching guys.